Hey there guys, Connor Wells here, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So are you, like myself, a podcaster or a content creator? If so, then today's video is definitely for you. This video is brought to you by Riverside.fm, but more on that later. Today I'm going to be showing you my entire podcasting setup, my remote podcasting setup and some of the key things that make this setup and make it perfect. And one of the tools I use is an absolute game changer in the world of podcasting. And it's actually just revolutionized my workflow as both a podcaster and a podcast producer. So today I'm gonna to be showing you my entire remote podcasting setup. This is the kit that I use when I conduct remote interviews. And what does remote mean? It means not in person. So through like a video call. So I'm gonna be showing you the camera that I use, any microphones and audio equipment I use, and also the software and application that I use to actually conduct these remote interviews. So camera wise, let's start with that. So I use the Sony a7 IV. It's actually what I'm filming this video on right now. And the lens of choice, it really fluctuates between a 16 to 35 and a 24 to 70. I really love both of those lenses. So it's sort of just like how I feel on the day when it comes to which one I want to use. If it's just myself doing the podcast, then I'll opt with the 24 to 70, which is this angle, what you're seeing now. That's the Sigma 2.8 one or I'll go with the 16 to 35 if I need to fit two people in. Now, microphone wise, I used a really, really simple and amazing microphone. It's called the Rode PodMic. It's what you're hearing right now. I know they've just released the PodMic USB. I am very interested in that, but this one has been, I've been using it for about five years now. I've got four of them and they're just, they're just spot on. I love these microphones. And I'm running this into the Rodecaster Pro. This is the original Rodecaster Pro, not the Rodecaster Pro 2. And I plug that into my computer via USB-C so that I can connect it to the application that I use for conducting remote podcasts. Now, if you're like me, you know how crucial it is to have high quality audio and video recordings of your podcast. So as a producer, I'm always on the lookout for tools that can enhance my production value and make my life easier. And one of the main parts of this entire setup is Riverside.fm. But before we jump into exploring Riverside, if you want to get 20% off your subscription to Riverside.fm, you can click the link below and use the code Connor Wells and get 20% off. That is huge, an actual massive 20% off your subscription to Riverside. You can find that by clicking the link below. When it comes to recording podcasts, I just want to focus on the conversation. I want to hit record, sit back and get into the conversation, not worrying about if the audio quality is going to be good or not, if the video quality is going to look great, if it's going to be muffled, if there's going to be lag or connection issues. I like to put my trust in one piece of equipment and have absolute faith in it. And with Riverside FM, I do have that faith. So what is Riverside.fm? It's an incredible remote recording platform designed specifically for podcasters, journalists, and content creators. But what sets it apart from other recording tools is its outstanding audio and video quality. And trust me, believe me when I say it's like having a professional recording studio right at your fingertips. With Riverside.fm, you get its unique lossless audio recording. This means that even if your guest has slow internet connection or is experiencing lag during the recording, Riverside.fm captures their audio locally, ensuring crystal clear sound quality throughout. Whereas with other tools, if you are recording and you get lag, you get lag in that recording. So you don't have to worry about choppy audio ruining your audio in your interviews. But these days, video podcasts are incredibly popular. So you know it's not just about audio quality. Riverside offers a host of powerful features that make the entire podcasting process an absolute breeze with just a few clicks you can actually invite a guest to your recording sessions regardless of their location and here's the best part which as a producer of a lot of people's podcasts this is my favorite thing you can record their audio and video separately which gives you endless flexibility when it comes to the editing phase now with other tools you get that automatic switcher you get basically what you're given you can't separate the two audio channels from your guests and the host with Riverside you can do that which makes it amazing for editing up clips and I'm going to be talking about clips later as a podcaster and podcast producer 
I can confidently say that Riverside has revolutionized my workflow. It saves me a whole amount of time, enhances the quality of my recordings, and provides a seamless experience for both myself and my guests. So now we're gonna jump into Riverside and I'm gonna be showing you some of my favorite features. So I am now in Riverside. I've logged into Riverside in my podcasting account. As you can see, I've already got a few interviews here. And as you can see in just a second, the audio and video quality is absolutely spectacular. This is what I do for a living ne now. Nearly 100,000 subscribers as well, which is like really, yeah. epic. It is, it is. Like, it's, uh, it's, I, I honestly, and I know everyone always says this, I honestly never thought that I would be able to do this for a living and see that number just keep going up the way it does. So I am very thankful to be here and uh, very happy to be here as well. So that there was an interview with photographer and videographer Chris Brockhurst. We conducted that interview via riverside.fm and you can listen to the full episode of that podcast out on Spotify. Now, this podcast was recorded in Riverside, we both had our cameras plugged into our laptops and honestly, the it was like he was there in the room with us. It, the audio and video quality was just so, so good. Like this tool makes podcasting so easy. You've actually got no excuse to have a bad quality podcast now with the help of Riverside. I'm gonna jump into one of my studios that I've already set up here. This is an interview with Cameron McDonnell. He is an Australian photographer. So literally we had a conversation with someone the other side of the world. Now, one of my favorite features that they've rolled out recently is the new AI transcript. This is so handy for when I'm writing out my monthly newsletter to my subscribers on my website, linked below. But not only that, but it's actually changed the way that I edit clips. Let me explain. Typically when I edit a podcast and want to clip out moments to post on Instagram and TikTok, I usually just have to listen through the entire podcast and make note of a time code. Whereas now, I can go into the AI transcript and let's say I want to find a clip where we're talking about cameras. I'll type in the word camera and there we go. I've got 18 times where we say the word camera, which is fantastic. So if I want to find a clip here, let's have a look for this moment here. That's just going to save me so much time when it comes to clipping out my content. And let's talk about clips actually, because one of my favorite features as well is create clips so you've got story post or full length which is 16 by 9 let's say i want to make a story let's go to that camera bit again go down to the 11th time that i said it because that was quite a cool moment so we're just gonna drag that over there and we'll drag that over there cool i'm happy with that let's export that Remove the watermark, we want that in. Let's do 4K, why not? It's there, you love to see it. Let's export that clip and it will let me know when that clip is done. So if you actually wanna get 20% off, yeah, 20% off your subscription to Riverside, you can click the link below and use the code Connor Wells and you can get 20% off your subscription. And that clip is done. So let's click preview and publish, have a little look there. And there we go. Sort of two hours a week to sort of batch shoot some reels here at my desk. Just like go through, find some sounds or, you know, do some talking headshots to camera. Yeah, like if you've got something landscape. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you'll see so many splits. And it looks alright. All different like layers. Good. Yeah. And there we go. That's where I said camera. And it's found a great clippable moment where we're talking about batch shooting content. Fantastic. So what I want to do now is show you actually how easy it is to create and set up a podcast, an interview, a, a studio in Riverside. So I'm going to click create new over here and I want to talk to my friend Pip, social Pip. She is an Instagram expert. Let's say I want to ask her a few questions about Instagram. So let's type social Pip in. I want audio and video. I want the transcription language to be English, but I mean, look how many languages you can transcribe your podcast into. Incredible. Let's go continue to set up studio. We want audio and video. We want to add a participant. Now, one of the great features is you can have them either as a guest, audience or producer. So we're going to paste her email in. So she'll get an email and she'll be invited to join the call. So let's just create the show. Now, I want to dial in my settings a little bit more. We want the video as well. We don't want noise reduction because we've already got the Rodecaster Pro plugged in. We want to change our audio um, sample rate to 48 hertz. 
we want that. Now I've got good Wi-Fi here in my office, so I'm going to change the recording to advanced quality. We want it in 4K. Let's go all out. Why not? And you can actually live stream this interview on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and LinkedIn, which is great. You love that. Now, this is what the setup looks like. Now, I'm logged in using my Creative Caffeine podcast um, account. So I'm going to click here. I am using headphones. There we go. We've got headphones. Love to see it. So I need to change a few settings here. So firstly, let's change the speaker to Rodecaster Pro. Let's change the microphone to Rodecaster Pro as well. Happy days. You get a little notification with some settings to dial in as well, but I've already done them. And finally, we're going to change the camera, which means I'm going to plug my Sony a7 IV into my MacBook and we can use that as a webcam. And now finally, the camera may look a little bit different. I've just changed a few settings because I've plugged it into my MacBook. So we're going to change that to the Sony a7 IV. And there we go. We have got the video quality from my Sony camera plugged in straight into Riverside, which is fantastic. Now, it's time to get my headphones on. And I'm ready to join this interview. Pip, welcome to the show. Tell us all about yourself. Okay, so I'm Pip, as you've already introduced. Um, I think probably a lot of people call me social Pip um, because I look after and help small businesses with their social media. I've been doing it for 11 years. Um, and my main aim is to make social simple and effective for time and resource poor small businesses because that's essentially you know, the things that we struggle with. Very true. Um, yeah, and since about 2018, just through sheer demand, I have focused primarily on Instagram because that's what everybody started to ask for. That must keep you busy because there is always changes with Instagram. So what has been your favourite and actual least favourite feature about Instagram that they've rolled out in the last few years? Okay, am I allowed to say that my least favourite is Reels? Um, don't, Don't get me wrong, I do really like them. But I just think the way that they try to squeeze this kind of update that nobody really asked for onto Instagram just made it a bit of a hot mess and essentially Instagram is such a community driven platform I mean its roots really are in kind of you know finding people who share your passions your interests and your community and with reels it's kind of I mean it's borrowed from TikTok which is all about entertainment and it's kind of trying to squeeze this entertainment piece into a community platform and it just it jarred rather than you know kind of smoothly floated in there and, and felt right so I, I do love reels but it's probably when they arrived I was just like <laughs> no so as you can see Pip has left the call now it was a great interview really really great quality being able to see each other side by side with no lag no delay the video and audio files have been locally uploaded to Riverside and now I can leave the call end session for all and I can go to the dashboard and there you can see we've got the recording so we've got the, the recording there And we've got both of our individual files. Now, let's say I want to go and export that. There we go. We've got the full transcript there, as you can see on screen. Now, let's change it up a little bit. So let's have 16 by 9. We want both of our camera angles. And let's do the... Let's do... Let's have a look. Let's do full frame AI. So that's going to use AI to switch between each speaker. We don't want a background. We don't need that. You can add a logo as well, which is fantastic as well. That's all I think I need. So I'm going to export. We want it in 4K. If, if, if you've got 4K, let's go with it. Why not? Export. And there we go. And as you can see, right below our video files, the podcast, the interview is exporting. And there we go. That was super quick. We've got the email. The podcast is ready to preview and publish. And there we go. We can see. that quality is actually insane that is nuts like how how is it that good so those are just some of the amazing features and some of my favorite features that are in riverside.fm it is honestly the ultimate platform to use for remote podcasting and interviewing people so if you want to get 20 percent off your subscription to riverside click the link below and use code connor wells for an amazing 20 percent discount Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.